Hey, welcome back to the National Basketball Performance Centre. We're getting ready for our final game of the day on Academy Finals Day. It's EABL. We have got Myasco College taking on the Charnwood College Riders. I'm Caroline Bullock and I'm here with Adam Masters and Danny Manning bringing you the third game of today. So we've had some fantastic basketball on show already and getting ready for the final one. Both these teams are Northern Conference rivals. They've played each other twice this season and they've split the games one and one. Charnwood taking the win at home at 68 to 66. Myasco taking the win at home in Myasco 92 to 79. So these teams are really, really closely matched. Myasco looking to win their first title in play since 2014-15 season when they beat SGS College. They were co-champions in the shortened due to COVID-19-20. 1919 to 20 season um, so they'll be wanting to get their, their third title and win it on the court today Charnwood also got two titles under their belts won their first in 2015 at 16 season against Myersco they took that 73 62 and we mentioned it earlier but they won in 2018 and 19 against Barking with an incredible come from behind win when they were down at 63 to 44 with a quarter to go they went 31 and 0 in that fourth quarter which is incredible um, so two teams that uh, have been here before know what it takes to win and uh, it's going to be a really exciting game of basketball today so adam you've seen some of these myasco guys come, come through the program playing in d2 you've been around them in manchester a lot what do you think they're coming in today's game with a focus for well, I mean, gosh, in a, 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 games like this are made for teams like Myersco and Charmwood, two of the biggest academies in the UK, two of the most successful, all the above. This is going to be an out-and-out -out dogfight, I think. I think that the, the, the previous two games today, um, we've been wondering whether we were going to get close games that go down to the wire, and of the three, I think that we all kind of thought that maybe this would be the one that could potentially do just that. A lot of talented young guys out there, the rivalry between them, you, well, you're going to see it in a couple of minutes time. Once that ball goes up, it's on. And, and um, if you if you look through um, to the list of people, for example, Myersco College head coach Neil Hopkins, assistant coaches Mike Bernard, Troy Cully, and James Jones. That's an all-star lineup as a, as a coaching staff. It is. Okay, um, the job that Will Maynard does with Charmwood, absolutely unbelievable. A um, couple of guys familiar to, to the Manchester fans, maybe uh, CJ Hansen from Charmwood, very talented young man at six foot six. Um, looking to see uh, see big things from him today for sure. Just been named the most improved player in the Northern Conference yeah, as well. Yeah, there you week. go. Um, he's been on a journey, and uh, all his hard work is very much paid off for him so th this is just going to be a great game I've just been talking to Callum Jones just to the side there and he was talking about a classic game a few years ago between these two teams when Myersco had a legit sort of NCAA D1 side out there on the floor um, a lot of guys out here that are knocking on the door of that kind of thing as well so I'm excited for this one I think it's going to be physical I think it's going to be end to end I think it's going to be a great game of basketball absolutely and Danny so who stands out for you today in today's game I know we've got a lot of players with a lot of accolades we've got you know we've got some huge huge you know high profile guys going out there today one I'm looking out for the most from Maesco Brian Akanmu the six foot six foot six forward you know, he's just committed to go to a New Mexico military institution next season to play in America. You know, he's also the North Conference League MVP. 19 points a game, 10 huge rebounds. You know, Marsco are really going to need him to turn up today. And in that last matchup against Charnwood, he had 39 points in that game. These two always have each other's dates circled on the calendar. Whether they're playing in a regular league fixture or in a final like today, they always know, they always know they're two of the toughest teams in the North. And the fact that he was able to show out against that speaks a lot to his character, and I know that we're excited to see what he can do on the, you know, on the floor today. For, the, for Charmwood, for Charmwood, Victor and Duku, Victor and Duku, six foot eight big man, but can get it done from everywhere. Handles the ball, shoots threes, 
40% from the three this year, just shy of. You know, he's crucial. He's crucial to this Charmwood offense. And then Kanu Gudda, Defensive Player of the Year in the North Conference. High, super high motored guard, defensive specialist. Everything he does on the defensive end of the floor unleashes Charmwood's offense. He gets out, he plays fast in transition, he can make shots. I think those three are the ones to look out for today. And Charwood with three players on the all conference team, all conference first team this season in Kanuka, Sir Louis Jordan, and Victor and Aduku. Um, so a, a really strong showing out from Charwood this season. Yeah, just leading on from what Danny's just said there about um, Brian Akamu, Kaz. I don't know if you remember the first time we would have seen this young man would have been at the Harris tournament um, a couple of years back. Um, I was going to say. I'm pretty sure he played in that, but this is a young fellow that we've seen for a couple of years coming through the ranks. And, uh, just going to take a short pause. We'll have a tribute to Betty Cadona, an absolute legend of British basketball and all that she's done for the women's game. We ask you now to stand, if you can, and aim to join us in a 24-second applause in memory of Betty Cardona. Tribute to Betty Cadona, an absolute legend of women's basketball, founder of the Sheffield Catters. There's so much for the, the women's game and just British basketball in this country, so a, a great tribute to her. Now, we've been here since 11 o'clock this morning and this place is filling up. It is getting loud in here. We felt it getting busier throughout the day, but today, for tonight's headline act, it is absolutely chock a block in here. And you love to see the support for, for both these teams, just for basketball in, in the city. Yeah. I don't know if the stream will <laughs> quite be able to grasp that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard to hear each other. <laughs> it's, it's fine, we'll, get, we'll see if we can pan into the crowd. Yeah. So you can just see. They're loving it, the crowd's loving it. I think they're, they're just getting hyped for this game today. No, we have to remember there's so much more to these programs than just the 12 guys that are going to be playing today yeah, it's so nice to see them all supported even you know from clubs with grassroots teams at junior levels to even just you know the other attendance of the attendees of the colleges that these guys play for it's so lovely to see they're all here out in support it's of those such guys a, today a community isn't it a family atmosphere i think as well with these two clubs being that little bit nearer to manchester as well yeah. it's not too far from uh out Preston way to get over here from uh, from Maisco. likewise from Leicester to uh, to Manchester, not quite as far as London. So yeah, the, uh, yeah I think we're in, I think we're in for a very very <laughs> loud game, guys. We had a draw for the Nottingham uh, contingency, I think, over for the Nottingham game. Yeah. So we're just a couple of minutes away from tip-off. We've got a starting five to you. For Charnwood, we will have Louis Jordan, Kanu Gutza, CJ Hansen, Ben Woos, and Victor Naduku. For Myasco, Jules Robinson, Pedro Ellery, Sam Cheshire, Brian Akanamu, and Wes Uadebo. Myasco in black today, Charnwood playing in white. And referees, I can see over there, we've got Jade Bow Butters, familiar with playing in a final here herself. Yeah, and, uh, I, think, uh, I think last time I saw Jade on the floor there, um, she was winning a championship with Stockport Lapkwin. She was taking down the Division 2 Solon Kestrel, sorry, Division 1 Solon Kestrels as the D2 Stockport Lapwing took home that trophy. Definitely one of the incredible moments of the season. So 
So we're about to get things underway. Myersko and Charnwood, final game of today. The EABL title up for grabs. Lots of great support from the Manchester basketball community. I've just bumped into Charlie Rowe and Saffron Urban Murphy as well from the well, Mystics program. Likewise, I've just bumped into a, a, a lot of guys from the Manchester Magic. You know they're going to be here. I, I would say probably in the uh, in the Charmwood corners. Obviously, <laughs> Myers Cole, their bitter rivals. Local rivals. So yeah, I saw Zach Moore, MVP of the uh, of the final here. I see uh, something of a veteran now for the Manchester Magic. Malachi Pache, Adams in the house. Mo Share goes here. So great to see the Magic guys and the and the Mystics ladies here to to join in on the festivities. It's going to be a great game. Yeah, Erica Williams also in attendance. Well, I mean, it's like Danny said before, it's a bit of a who's who here today. Yeah. I mean, both Jones brothers here, Callum and James. Um, just looking around from where I'm sitting now, Georgia Jones. I see Danny Burney, assistant coach of, um, of the Cheshire Phoenix here. Jamel Anderson. Right behind, yeah, Jamel Anderson right behind us. Great, Jeff Jones, you know, everywhere you turn, there's legends of the game here. You love to see it, so... Tipping off is going to be Wes Uadebo and Louis Jordan. And, I mean, it's, we've got champs in here. <laughs> so Uadebo and Jordan ball is up. Hansen with the reverse lay doesn't go as Myersko get the ball back. Robinson. Into a can move. Off the glass and get that, gets that one in. So that's Myersko's first points in the ball game. And you just see the crowd erupt behind the Myersko bench there. Brian's such a big part of the Myersko program. He's a third year, very popular guy over there. Look it. it out. Everybody over in that part of the room in black and green is going to want to see this MVP get going early. Definitely. And he can't get that one to drop. As Naduku pulls down the rebound and then controls the ball. Got a point forward. He's going to get the foul call as he drives to the basket. And Victor Naduku, one of the All Conference North first team players that was uh, announced this week, averaging 15.5 points per game this season, shooting 84% from the line. As we see a bit back and forth going on in the crowd here. Yeah. And we are less than a minute into today's <laughs> ball game. So Nduku with the second. Hits both of them. First points of the game for him. Two all. It's just under a minute gone. Robinson. Directing traffic. Driving inside and can't get that one to drop. And Duku with the rebound. And Adam, it's not often we see a, a big guy inside then also handling the ball as well as Duku's been doing here. Yeah. Kuzer inside, and that's going to be a foul drawn by Ben Woog as he's driving to the basket. Which is such an advantage for Charmwood, having so much size out there that can still shoot. You know, that's what forces those mismatch. Woog at 6'7, one of the, uh, the taller players as well on court today. And the first shot is no good. The Myersco fans making a lot of noise in the crowd. Second one, also no good. That rims out and Akutmu grabs the rebound. 
Kanmu to Robinson. Akanmu pulls up from the shoulder. Nothing but now on that one. And we're seeing the MVP in action. Guta inside to Wu. Oh, what a find. Brilliant awareness and pass. Robinson's guided by Hansen. He can move, Myers go. He's going against Wu. Passes out. Got six on the shot clock. A can move. Passes into Stepton and stolen away. And Dupo goes to Jordan. Jordan driving. Doesn't get that one to drop. Wu gets the rebound, kicks it out to Hansen. Eight on the shot clock. Jordan is going to get the foul and he's going to head to the line. Yeah, just as he went up for that shot, Brian Akamu hammered him, so he's going to go to the line. After, maybe for three points? Looks like he was three, shooting three. Three shots? Jordan averaging 13.4 points per game this season. One of the, another of the All Conference North first team players has his first free throw drops. He's shooting 78% from the line this season. Second basket is so good. Little mismatch. I don't even think Jordan knew whether he was <laughs> shooting a third or not. Third shot's up, and that one doesn't fall. 5-4, Riders lead. Robinson. Went off the screen. And we got a foul away from the ball. That is against Louis Jordan, his first. He's just got to be careful. Pedro Eller, he's such a good shooter, and he knows how to get open. If the referees see him moving and, you know, Jordan's caught in his shirt, then that's going to be a defensive foul. Ellery. Robinson. Got seven on the shot clock. Robinson needs to swing it out. Keegan shot his up. And count that, and the foul. He's going to head to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Where's you with Debo? A tough basket from Wes. Yeah, he did well there to draw the contact. Nice sort of fade away and he seemed to hang in the air for a second there. That's no good, but Ellery gets the rebound. Keeps it in, Robinson. Robinson fakes the three and drives. Pulls up from the free throw line, doesn't fall. And Duku with the rebound. Robinson's so crafty, even you know, even with the, the size disadvantage that with CJ Hansen Gardner, still able to get open and get a good shot. Woog inside. Too strong on that one. Uadibo with the rebound, gets it over to Robinson. Maiesco with a one-point lead. Ellery inside. Cheshire back to Robinson, got five on the shot clock. Cheshire with a deep three. That one doesn't go. They won't be happy with getting a shot like that after after some of the fantastic ball movement, but they were just forced to take it with the, you know, with the shot running shot clock. Running yeah. Goose oh. inside to Wu, what a pass. Beautiful pass. He's putting on an absolute display. Kami Goodsa there just seems to hang and suspend himself in the air to find that pass. I mean, he leads the league in assists with 5.5 a game, and you can see why. Ellery, as he's driving baseline, just loses control. Wu keeps it in. Over to Nduku. Nduku's going end to end. That one doesn't fall. And a 
can move coming back for Myersko. Hands it over to Cheshire. Shot is up and three is in. Sam Cheshire with his first points in the game. the reverse layup, nice move inside and that will tie the game at nine with just five minutes to go in the first quarter. A can move. Cheshire, Cheshire kicks it out, oh. Robinson with the fake baseline jumper, that's not going to fall but Uedebo gets the rebound. And he can't get it to drop. And Duka with a spin. Kicks it out. Hansen. And foul on the floor. So we've got a substitution for Maestro. Uadibo is heading to the bench as Shima checks into the game. Shot is up, no good. And Shima getting right in on the action, grabbing that rebound. Shima's driving and he's not going to get that to fall, but he's going to head to the line. And both teams doing a good job of driving, taking the contact and getting to the line. Substitution for Charlotte. So Lane Campbell coming into the game for Charlwood. Uh, CJ Hansen is going to head to the bench. So Shima shooting two. First shot's just a bit short. Second one's good. Gives Maesco a one point lead. Inside. Oh, reverse doesn't go, and it's going to just be a step out of bounds, so with Maesco. So Daniel Hadley into the game for the first time for Charnwood. Robinson works against Campbell. Shima with the three. That one's not going to fall. Robinson gets the rebound. Shima <laughs> looks like he's going to try it again. Changes his mind and hands back to Robinson. See Brian Akamu calling for that mismatch there. As Robinson nails the three. And it is going to be time out. Maiasco with a 13-9 lead. Led by, they are led by Brian Akanmu with four points. And Sam Cheshire and Jules Robinson on three apiece. Danny, is this how you expected this game to start? I think so. I think, you know, Charm would want to play out in the open floor, get out and run, use their athletes, and Maesco using a good job of doing a good job of forcing them to play in the half court. You know, down the other end though, Maesco are getting great looks, running their sets, being so clinical with their um, with their execution. And I, I can see this, I can see this being a game of runs. Yeah. I can see Maesco taking a lead now, and you know, Charm would forcing some stops, getting out, you know, and then going on a little run. But it looks like we're in for a brag of a game here yeah. to close out what has been a fantastic day. So um, no, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a great great game. Adam, who stood out to you so far in just a, a few minutes of the first? Well, I mean, big time stages call for big time players, and and certainly uh, Brian and Cam move more than stepping up to the mark so far. Uh, so far, but um, Chesh has been impressive for Myers Co. Um, and then obviously over for the uh, for the riders, Woog is it's, it's kind of been about him so far. But very very early on in this game, plenty plenty more action to come. Woog's been doing really well inside, been able to position himself really well as Guta tries the short jumper and that one goes. 
puts the lead to two. Robinson to a can move. Can move with a spin move. Gets it to Ellery. And that's just deflected. Charn would come away with it. And wow. way basket that's play pretty. Campbell with the spin move to get to the basket. Robinson. Akanmu inside to Shima. Akanmu's got a lot of space there at the top of the free throw line. Doesn't get it to drop. And Campbell coming back. And Duku inside and he's blocked by Shima. Shima for three. That one's not going to go. And Sharnwood with the rebound. That was a quick, quick three there. I would have been interested to see if Marsco could have gotten a slightly better look. But that's what Charm would have done. They've, you know, they've hit a couple shots on the break and they've, you know, sped the pace up the whole game. So Ziki Kavili into the game for Marsco. Sam Cheshire heading to the bench. Guta for three. That one's just a bit too short. Cavalier with the rebound. To Robinson, Shima. Robinson for three. That one's not going to hit. A can move. Can't keep hold of that one, so it's going to go back with Charnwood. Game is tied at 13 with just under two minutes to go in the first quarter. Campbell's picked up by Cheshire. Conte back to Campbell. Campbell driving, kicks it out, three is up, and that one's not going to go into the hands of Biasco. Shima trying to step inside. And it's going to be a travel call. Myersko back with Charnwood. Well, I've been really impressed with Lane Campbell so far. It's just watch how this guy uses his body. When he comes down the court, he moves left, he moves right, he finds a way into, the, into, into space. Really impressive guy. He's running around actions on offense like a madman, isn't he? he? Is. Back door in, he uses really coming is. off screens, coming off pin downs. And Duku powers to the basket, and he's going to head to the line. A really tough bucket from Inter and Duku. But again, that'll be a can move second foul here. It seems to be the story of today. Doesn't it just? <laughs> doesn't it just? The big time players. Getting big getting time in, fouls. Getting big time <laughs> fouls, I mean. This time a little later on with a minute left in the first, but oh, with the you know with the luck of today, there is I would. <laughs> yeah, he's, I'm I'm giving up shouting this one. Uh, giving him out, take him out immediately. <laughs> and Duco's free throw is good, gives Charnwood a three-point lead. First lead of the game for Charnwood. Kemp going inside, going to be a travel call, and that's going to be two travel calls in a row on Myersko. Yeah, Will Kemp just trying to find a way through the middle. I think momentum just took him rather than it being bad footwork. I think he was just kind of too far committed. Referees call the travel. Campbell. Over to Hansen. Myers going, Back you know, in a 2-3 zone now. Ultimately, to try, I imagine, to try and stop Victor and Duku by Campbell's getting actions down go. low. Yeah, you want to try and close that down. Build a wall, stop him from going downhill, building up speed and make... It's a uh, foul called on Hadley there. Yeah. I thought I'd, uh, a little unlucky on Hadley there though, he just he was crashing the boards though. 
but it went against him. So Birch for Mayasco. Swings it round, Shima. Shima setting things up. Drives baseline. Got one to shoot, needs to get something up, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. And Charwood doing a really good job defensively now. No, no, no. There's a 24 second violation, but there's still 0.2 seconds. Oh. Oh, we got 0.2 on the game clock. Yeah, as Myers go college side taking to the bench then for a timeout. And Charnwood having done a really good job defensively on those last three possessions, forcing three turnovers. You know, Myers go with all five starters on the bench. And Duku at the bottom! Oh, make it Placing count! In a great look, pass! Look at a Duku just walk away like, okay, it's in. That's that's what I do. That's what I do. Let's have a little talk and let's like get back out. Let's get back out on the floor. And that's an incredibly impressive from Charnwood to be able to make that pass and make that back to skip with 0.2 on the shot clock. You've got to pass it in and just tap it up. Incredible performance from Enduku. I think and it was. Pass. I think it was Campbell sent down the beautiful pass there for him. That was a peculiar quarter because it felt like Myasco were in control it, for all of about 36 seconds. Yeah. You know. It feels like it's just swung as well quite quite quickly in the last couple of minutes. Myasco seemed very, you know, very poised in control and just the last three possessions have really uh, been critical there. Well, like Danny said, I think there's going to be some swings in this game. I think we're going to keep looking up at the scoreboard. One way it'll be one, uh, <laughs> one minute it'll be Riders, next minute it'll be Myasco, back and forth. I think we're in for that kind of a ball game. So Victor and Duku leading all scorers with seven points in the game so far to, to go along with four rebounds. The Maiasco. Brian Akanbu on four points with three rebounds. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're getting heckled by the court MC here. <laughs> saying, do you want it to be any louder? And I'm saying, no, I, can't, I can barely hear a thing as it is. You'll have to bear with us if, if Kaz asks us a question and we just don't answer. It's not that we're being ignorant, it's just that we literally can't hear one another. But again, something that's now just jumped out to me, looking at the points in the paint. Charnwood on 12 points, Myersko only on two. Myersko doing it from, uh, from their shooting today. So Shima inbounds to Kavli. He's got Campbell on him. Kavli to Shima. Shima working the clock down. Seven seconds to go. Lays it off the glass. Can't get that one to drop. And Duku with another rebound. That's his fifth. Campbell kicks it out. And Duku's there. He's going to drive, spin, passes out to three. Nice ball movement from Charnwood. Hansen's three's up, but that doesn't fall. The way Victor Nduku is able to size up the defence, make a play, collapse the defence, kick it to a teammate. You know, that's just so crucial. Those shots will fall. This Charnwood College Riders team is too good at shooting to not have those shots fall. As Cavley knocks down a three for Maya Stone. That's going to put the lead to two. Hadley, Conte into the corner, and Duku working inside, and that is oh, a that's a tough move. Victor and Duku is going to get the basket and the foul again. That's the ball just inched its way over the rim. Well, he he went up into traffic there. He was getting clobbered left, right and centre, but he persevered and he still managed to get the shot off and in it went. Tough play there from Nduku. And that's going to be nine points so far for Nduku. First foul on Shima for Myasco. play is good for Nduku and that takes him to 10 in the game leading all scorers you know he'll grab he'll you know grab a well-deserved couple of minutes here and 
then I imagine we'll see him return quite shortly. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be away for too long. Shima. He's out, Kavli. Kavli's going all the way, lasing in off the glass. Look at that, that little bit of daylight he saw there between him and his defender in the basket, and he was able to split the gap, go and get an easy two points. He just needed that little bit to get through. Tough finish. Ponzi can't finish that one. Hansen, inside to Woog. And that's gonna, I think he just stepped out of bounds on that one, so it's gonna go back with Myersko. So Robinson back for Myersko. Shima's three is up. That one doesn't fall. Hansen with the rebound. And that was a tough shot from Shima as he's got a, a hand in his face. Guza drives, can't finish it. Wu gets a rebound. He's looking to kick it out. It must fill the Charmwood guards with an air of confidence knowing that Wu is there to clean up yeah. it. And Louis Jordan just drops it in. Charmwood up to five point lead. Ellery. Kavli. Kavli's driving all the way. He gets high off the glass on that one, but he's going to go to the foul line to shoot two. Sam Cheshire's coming back in to check into the game. As Ridley Shima gets a breather. Not a lot of size out there now for for Maesco. They're gonna no, have to no, really it's gonna be it's gonna be tough going against Wu and, uh, and Jordan. They're gonna have to do a real job of of rebounding as a collective, as a whole. Cavaliers second free throw is good. Puts the lead down to three. We've got 7.15 to go in the first half. Hansen. Guza driving inside, hands it off to Woog. Woog with a tough finish. Takes the contact as well and still manages to get the basket to drop. Guza just been able to find him as well with that pinpoint pass. Cavalier's driving, he's going to get the basket and the foul. How many three point plays have we seen today? As uh, Duke returns after a short spell. <laughs> and Cavalier making a, a really good uh, impression off the bench today. He's got seven points so far in just over five and a half minutes. A real spark for this Moscow offense. As he nails that free throw to take him to eight points in the game. are in the corner. That shot's no good. Jordan grabs a rebound. Out to Hansen. He's driving. He gets blocked by Ellery. Cavley. Ellery's there. He's going to try the three. That one doesn't fall. CJ Hansen grabs a rebound. And behind the back. <laughs> spins it round, stolen away by Cheshire. Cavalier's trailing. Cheshire goes all the way and he drops it in. And what that a fantastic a finish there, yeah. What a fantastic finish around CJ Hansen. He looked in the eyes of Hansen as he <laughs> went up for that layup and said, yeah, come on, bring it, bring it on, big fella. I've got something for you. Tough move. Unlucky call on Sam Cheshire there. 
his positioning was good, but he's just so disadvantaged at the moment. Against, you know. against Woog, it's tough. Yeah. As Woog is going to shoot a, a free throw. Ten points in the game already as well. That free throw just drops in, takes it to eleven. Ellery, Robinson, he's guided by Hansen. Robinson. He's going to go all the way to the basket and easy lay in. Although it probably wasn't as easy as he made it look. And that's going to be a quick foul on Sam Cheshire. Another one. Another, that was a cheap reach in there. Kanu Kuta was so explosive. It's, it's like a gust of wind as he comes past our table here. You just can't reach in on that. It, got to work hard, move your feet, stay in front, or actually meet him a little bit later in the yeah. offense. But he's, it, but he's just so... You know, so quick that you will get called for it. Sam Cheshire picks up his third here in the second quarter. Guza's pass is knocked away. Campbell comes up with it. Cheshire driving to the basket. That one doesn't fall. Hansen with the rebound. Jordan swings it out to Guza. And Duku pulls up for three. Oh, and now that's one, Victor and Duku. He can do it all. He can hit the three. He's going inside. A big three and that is going to be a foul on CJ Hansen as he went up. <laughs> yeah, the Chadwood crowd don't like that one. <laughs> It would be disappointing if they didn't. <laughs> so CJ Hansen is going to take a seat. And Lane Campbell back in for Charnwood. So Robinson's at the line. First basket is good. But Ellery managed to sap it away, so Robinson comes away with it. Shima. Shima gets it back. Passes inside. Long two. No good. Jordan grabs it for Charnwood. Jordan against Robinson. He runs into two Myasco players. And that's going to be a travel call. Great D from Myasco on that possession. have a 31 to 28 lead here in the second quarter. Victor and Duku doing it all today. 13 points, five rebounds, knocking in a three. And looking at Maesco, it's impressive. You know, they're three points down to this really good riders team. You know, and Brian Akanmu has been sat on the bench for, for um, you know, for about seven minutes of the action so far. We haven't seen the captain, Pedro Ellery, really get into his groove yet. 0 for 2 from the field when he starts firing, which he undoubtedly will. You know, that will cause an issue for the college riders. Absolutely. And Adam, who's, who stood out to you today so far? Sorry, sorry again, Cass. Who, who stood out to, to you today so far? Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's a few guys that are having good games, but I think Naduku's edging it out for me so far. I think he's been absolutely outstanding. I mean... Nice Cole throwing the bucket at him and he's just responding, he's keeping his head calm. He's just making big baskets and then just getting on with it. Uh, Steve's coming back at court for the last four minutes, 32 of the half. It's going to be an end line Maesco ball as Robinson controls it. He's guided by Gunsa. 
Hunter nearly steals it away. He's averaging 4.4 a game, and that's why he's the Defensive Player of the Year in the North Conference. Ellery, five to Oh, what a fight! Inside. Oh, yes. Great reverse layup from Kelsey. That's his first point of the game. That's such a heads up play there by the captain, Pedro Ellery. Knows the defender's going to come over the top of the pick and roll. Finds the roller. Victor and Duku steps back. Can't make his second step back through the game. Now I'm starting to think that he practices it. <laughs> That'll be good for. Uh, As Robinson just pops the little floater in, and that's going to give Myasco the lead 32 31. Woog into Enduku. And back. We've got Kelsey on him. He's going to pull up for three, and that wow. one. Is Wowza. And that looks good from here, and it was. 16 in the game for Victor Nduku. Charnwood back in front. Robinson. Ellery for three. And he can't get that to fall, but he's going to head to the line because he was fouled on that one. So Myers go here with a chance to take the lead on these free throws. And Ellery, an 84% shooter from the line this season. He's averaging 12 and a half points. He was named to the All Conference North second team. Ellery hits the first. Second is also good. Now this is the third. Ellery's a shooter. He's, uh, he's confident in those ones. Gives Myersko the one point lead. We've got a, a real back and forth game on our hands today. Hansen to Jordan, back to Hansen. Campbell, inside, hands it out, and Duku with the long two. Doesn't get that one to fall. And back into the hands of Robinson. Picks it out. You with the elbow can't get it to drop. And Duku swings it over. Campbell, baseline. Gets it back, steps inside, gets his own rebound, and Woog picks it up and he just drop it back in. And Ben Woog is a problem cleaning up the boards. Robinson tries to go all the way, he can't, kicks it out, swings it around. Chelsea, three's no good. Robinson gets the rebound though. And huge oh, block. big block from Hansen. Campbell going against Ellery, takes it all the way to the hole, doesn't drop. And going to go the way of Myersko. So Ziki Kavli coming back in for Myersko. And so be a bit of a surprise, we've not seen a Kanmu come back in. Yeah, but... Maybe head coach Neil Watkins has watched today's games and <laughs> realises. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Don't risk it. As long as we're within, you know, gra you know, just grasp with this or uh, you know, don't rush it, don't force it. Save him when you know you'll need him. Make sure he's available if you're there and it matters at the end. Absolutely. And some, look, the Moscow bench, everybody's come in and contributed. Yep, they've got a very deep bench. They can't get that one to drop and Enduku's coming back for the Charnwood. No look pass to Hansen on the baseline. Six on the shot clock. Jordan with three to shoot. Jordan puts up a three. 
That one's not going to fall. Myersko with the rebound. Robinson, 39 seconds in the quarter. Robinson against Campbell, puts it off from the shoulder and drops that one in. Myersko loving this mid-range shot it, today. Yeah. Brian and Camu getting to the mid-range. Now Jules Robinson getting there as well. And Tuku for Charnwood. Kicks it out. Oh, Campbell. Campbell. All the way, tough layup to finish that one. There you go. See, yeah, see what I was saying before about the way he uses his body. He sort of moves himself in midair, gets himself into the position Myers that he wants go before with he goes. One second to shoot Robinson at the buzzer. That's not going to go. And that'll do it for the first half. 38 37, one point in it. Charnwood lead. And yeah, Adam, you were saying before, weren't you, the, the way he contorts his body in the air. Yeah, he can, that's the word I was looking for. He contorts his body. He takes off and it's almost like he decides whilst he's in midair what he needs to do. He finds a way to sort of hang, manoeuvre his body and then gets the shot or the pass off just as he needs to. So at the end of the first half, we have leading the way for Charnwood. Victor Nduku with 16 points, five rebounds. Charnwood, Ben Wook has 13 points on 85% shooting. We've seen an Emily Black type performance in this game today. And four rebounds for Myersko. Jules Robinson with 10 points and four rebounds, two assists. Ziki Kavli also with 10 points and two rebounds. So we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with you in around five minutes time.
welcome back to the National Basketball Performance Centre in Manchester. We're just a couple of minutes away from the second half of the EABL final between the Charnwood College Riders and Myersco. Charnwood College with a very, very slim one-point lead as we head into the second half, 38-37. They are led by Victor Nduku with 16 points and five rebounds so far. Danny, what are Charnwood going to be wanting to do coming out into this second half? The game we've seen, it, it's been flipping back and forward as well. I think they're going to look to secure their presence over the game. You know, really establish what's going to work for them. If it's going to be Nduku inside or a Wug inside and more perimeter-based players, lots of off-ball movement or actually on guard with on the ball with Goodza. You know, I think they're going to look to find what works against this Marsco team. And then try and, and then try and go on a bit of a run. Nobody's really been able to get out in front enough, you know, in this game. Marsco had a turn where Zeki Kavli, you know, stole the show and was able to put some points on the board. You know, and then Victor and Duku stole it just before the end of the end of the break. Or just before the start of the break as he went on a little tear of his own and you know. It's been exactly as you said, it's been a game of runs today. Adam, what's uh, what's Big Mike going to be saying to the guys in the uh, the Myers go time at, um, half time talk? He's going to be telling them to keep doing what they're doing, and uh, that's to continue to play hard basketball. Um, that's going to continue to feed off the energy in the room. I mean, they've got such a great support behind them there, and uh, you know, Big Mike, no stranger to big events like this throughout his illustrious career. What a guy to be a mentor to these guys. I just quickly want to do a couple of shots. I'm just reading down the YouTube comments. Now, I'm sure Tahir is here somewhere. I think, I'm sure I've seen him. Maybe he's not. Tahir, are you in the house or are you watching Are you watching live? But also want to shout out Cam Hildreth, who's watching the game. Cam, of course, at the NCAA with Wake Forest. We salute you, brother. We wish you all luck in the world out there. Having a great season so yeah, far as well, and, and Cam. We're, and we're, we're glad for you having a great season. Big up to, uh, to Cam Hildre. And if Tahir's watching, I just got to say. And Tahir, where are you at? Where are you at? I got to thank him. He was helping me out with something for our, uh, our commentary the other day. Oh, okay. Okay. So back underway, second half. CJ Hansen over to Guza and Duku. Woog inside, back to Enduku. Tough, tough shot. Gets his own rebound and puts it back in. Sorry, Cash, you, you asked me. I think one of the things that they're going to be looking at is they've got to find a way to shut Nduku down. Um, he's obviously had the hot hand in the first half and he's continuing very much so there. Picking up exactly where he left off and Brian McCann moved back into the game for Myersko. He's doubled in the middle, kicks it out to Kavli. Kavli with two on the shot clock, stripped away. And Ellery comes up with that one. Over to Kavli. Akanamu inside. Can't get that to drop, and great defense from Victor Nduku and CJ Hansen. Guta kicks it out, Jordan. Hansen for three. That one's no good. Wu cleans up the glass and puts it back in. How many times have we seen Ben Wu do that today? <laughs> ben Wu with another offensive rebound. You know, that's his fourth rebound of the day, but it's also his fourth offensive rebound like he has no defensive rebounds all he's doing <laughs> is offensive rebounds this is amazing Kavli puts it up oh money and Kavli has with a really really strong performance off the bench today 13 points in the game Charnwood with a two point lead Guta He's been exactly what Myersko have needed off that bench. Absolutely. Guter answers with a three of his own. And takes the lead to five. So Hansen's on Robinson. Robinson puts it up. His three is not going to go. So back with Charnwood. Guza has five assists in the game already. Inside to Wu, that one gets knocked away. Akanamu driving, inside, drops it in. And a great move from Brian Akanamu. 
That will help him get back into rhythm after taking so much time off in the second quarter. Can he get Can another one back again. here? Yes. Yeah. He's in. Back to right back on buckets. cue. Right on cue. And that cuts the lead to one. 45-44 Charnwood. Wu out to Hansen. Hansen drives baseline, spins and... Oh, a three-second violation called on Ben Wood then. I thought it might have been a travel on CJ Hansen, but... Yeah, my score were calling for the travel, but I think it was the three points, uh, uh, three seconds that they got called for. Wu with 15 points and six rebounds. <laughs> Having a, an incredibly impressive performance today. Akanamu, he's going to get fouled on that one, so he's going to head to the line. going to be his first trip to the line today. That's why we have some silence in the room, Kels. Let's once again just give a shout-out to Shaw Shot, Wilson, Sports Serve, Dynamic, Basketball England for putting on this unbelievable event today here in Manchester. It really makes you feel proud to be part of the Manchester basketball community. But also just whole, the whole British basketball community as a whole. It absolutely does. And a, a big thank you to everybody watching and everybody that's come out to the games today. We've got a really nice crowd here. And that is going to be a foul on Jordan, his third. So he's going to head to the bench. And Daniel Hadley's in. So it's end line Myasco ball. Ellery. Robinson for three. That one doesn't go. Hansen. Trying to get to Nduku. You with the Abos all over him. Nduku with the spin step oh, back. Look at that. Fade away. Unlucky. Unlucky, you know. Even though that the, the shot wasn't a great one in the end, the size of this guy and his footwork—he has such a great step there. The way he puts himself into the position to take the shot that he wants to take. Campbell gets it into Wu. Campbell gets it back. Nice screen from the big guy. And, and Duku just lays it in. That's going to take him to 20. Kanemu. Maesco moving the ball. Pavley round to Ellery. Ellery for three. That one doesn't go. Ball's tipped, but it's Charnwood that come up with it. Hansen's at work. Wow, Hansen looked like he's about 15 feet yeah. in the air there. That was <laughs> Every, everyone's okay though, that's uh, going to be a foul on Ellery. That looks like it was going to be a, a bit of a hard fall there. Glad to see it wasn't. So Campbell on the inbound for Charnwood. Charnwood got a, a three point lead, we've got six minutes three to go in the third quarter. Cavley just steals that one away. Cavley. Just can't finish what was a really impressive sequence there. But he's just managed to almost get hold of the loose ball, doesn't come up with it, but really impressive performance from Cavley. As Campbell manages to keep that inside and it's going to stay with Charnwood. You can see how eager Marsco are to advance, uh, sorry, forgive me, Charnwood are to advance the ball and play on the fast break, play in the open floor. Yeah, yeah. It's Cam called. Campbell came screaming down in front of us there, minding his own business. He was eyeing up the pass from the minute that he came down the floor. Hadley. Shots up to Charnwood, no good. Back into the hands of Hadley. Swings it round, Hansen's there. And Tuku's calling for it at the top of the key. Six on the shot clock, and Duku stops, pulls up. No good, big rebound from Akanmu. 
Ellery driving to the basket, off the a glass lot of laid it in. Speed. Great basket from Ellery. Tough finish. That's going to bring Risco back within one. Campbell inside. Blocked by Shima. Huge, huge possession here. Cavley stepping away inside. What a beautiful footwork on that play from Cavley as Myersko take the lead. 48, 47, 447 to go in the third quarter. Zeke Cavley, 15 points here in this ball game. And Duku is going to get fouled on that one, so he's going to head to the line. Sam Cheshire coming back into the game and Pedro Ellery going to head to the bench from Iesco. Victor and Duku shooting two. He's four of four from the line so far today. Hey, that five of five. Both free throws. And that's going to take him to 22 in the game. Gives Charwood the one point lead back. This is such a back and forth game today. Robinson inside to a can move. Going to go back with Charnwood. We've got the drums out now for Charnwood. We've got, I think, a bin and a stick over at Yeah, I, I, I've seen a walk. <laughs> appear over there somebody here in a what frying pan type thing you, you've got to get what you there. can find yeah when you need to get to the game when you but where do you find a what <laughs> are you walking around outside you steal one from one of the burger vans or something i'm pretty sure i saw somebody earlier take the bin bag out of one of the bins and just bang on that <laughs> you've got to do what you got to do it's creating a fantastic environment in here it really is cavley oh what up and under can't get it to drop rebound charnwood Hansen, Hadley, Hansen gets it back, nearly loses that one, can't get it up, gets his own rebound. Oh, Hansen that's just hard in. work, that's hard work. Sticking with the play. And CJ Hansen having a, a fantastic game as well, most improved player in the North Conference as well this season. Akanamu, fade away, doesn't drop. Point Charnwood lead. Hadley working against Robinson off the screen from Campbell. Campbell gets it, seven on the shot clock. Campbell drives all the way oh, up and under. There you go. See the little shimmy move as he went down the middle there. That was Beautiful nice. Beautiful underhand nice layup. Move. Put it on the highlight film. These reels. I hope you got a good angle of that one because that one was beautiful. We've got to see that one again. So, time out with a 53-48 Charnwood lead. So, all tied up in this quarter. Both teams scoring 13 points this quarter. And as you said before, Danny, it's been a game of runs. No team is able to pull it, pull away and just increase the lead but I, I don't know I mean as a fan I, I like this I want, I want to see it you know well you know what's going through my mind right now are we going to be here a little bit later than well, we thought we were going to be well, here tonight well, might we see some <laughs> no I'm not going to say it we'll wait until the fourth quarter but this this is the kind of game it's got all the makings of uh, going classic. down to the wire yeah. yeah what I would say is you know if what happened you know if what we're not talking about happened <laughs> That would be a fitting end to what has been. It would. One adjust. It would. So closely matched both teams. And every time they've matched up this season, it's been fantastic. Yeah, it's certainly got that kind of um, we were there type feel about yeah. it this game. Definitely. All shaping up to be a great game. All the glitter out of your British basketballer here. 
So Victor Nduku elite all scorers with 22 points. Ben Woog with 15 for Charnwood as well. Cavley on 15 for Myersko and Jules Robinson with 10 for Myersko also. Shima to Cavley. We were talking about him and he doesn't get that ball to go but that is going to go get knocked off. So it's going to be with Myersko. Robinson with the end line. Shima. Can't get it to fall. Again, still back with Myersko. I'm going to have a fresh 14 on the shot clock. You can see Robinson. the prep that both teams have done on this game. The Charmwood player is able to talk through the different end line calls. That's, that's incredible, isn't it? That's preparation. It just speaks to how important these programs and these guys take this, this, you know, this league and this final. And it sets them up for their careers. You know, it sets them up. Good to driving inside. Spins can't get that to fall, but what a move to get to the basket. Cavley against Nduku. A lot of contact there. I think Marsco, Marsco got lucky there because that, that, if that goes in by Goodser and that takes it to a seven-point lead, that feels like it's just, just uncomfortable. Out of the comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah. After seeing the spread of the games this morning, yeah. there's seven points in this game. <laughs> it, it feels like that. It's nothing, but it just speaks to how, you know, how talented these teams are. That actually, you know, as a cat move powers inside and gets that one to drop. It's like these guys can hear us. Every time we say something, they then go, hey, you think that's good? Check this out. Goods are inside. That one doesn't drop. Cheshire gets the rebound for Myersko. Myersko with a chance to tie on this possession. Riders with a three-point lead. Just under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Cavley manages to keep that one. Great D from Campbell. And it can move doesn't go Robinson can't quite keep hold of that and that would have been a big rebound from Robinson so he looked like he, he leapt halfway across the court for it Campbell to Guza Guza pulls it up and that hits Back to five for Charnwood. That's a risk of that of that two three zone that Marsco have fallen back into. If you let a guard like Kanu Goodzer attack the seams, he's going to be able to get or create pretty much whatever he wants. You know, there he's settled for the mid range jump shot. But if the defense collapses on him, well, he's already demonstrated today he's capable of finding his teammates. Substitution for Myersko. As Ellery comes back into the game for Myersko and Cavley. Heads to the bench. Cavley leading the scorers for Maisco with 15 points of today's game. Got to get it in. And they Ellery. Do. Cheshire inside to a can move. Got six on the shot clock. Shima spins it around Cheshire. Robinson. Somebody's got to shoot it. Floater won't go. A can move gets the rebound. And great move by Brian McCannu to get the rebound, force of contact, and he'll go to the line. Substitution for Charnwood and Louis Jordan make his way back on the floor. So Louis Jordan back in the game for Charnwood. As Brian McCannu is at the line for Myersko. First free throw is good. Lead is back down to four. And second one doesn't drop. And Duku with the rebound. Just under a minute to go. Chan will be doing with a four-point lead here in the third. Guta kicks it out. Three is up. And that is good. Hadley with a huge three for Myers go. Can we just take a second to appreciate that pass from Goodson that, as well? That was oh, big Lane Peter. Campbell, big steal. Lays it in. And Charlwood with just a couple of really big possessions there. Stretched the lead out to nine. Akanmu tries to answer. Blocked by Nduku. Campbell to oh. 
to Hadley in the corner for three. And that drops, what a possession, the ball movement. Wow. Chatwood just turning it on right now. 63 to 51, a 12 point lead, 13 seconds to go in the third quarter. They're having fun out there. They no are... passes, celebrating shots before they go in. You love to see it, Shima driving. Doesn't get that one to fall, can move with the rebound and the put back and it drop in just at the buzzer, but Charwood with a super impressive last 90 seconds or so. Um, a real, real push for them. And somehow it's a 10 point spread. What felt like it was a one point game. Yeah. It's now, now 10 in the favor. Yeah. Out of nowhere. I mean, what I noticed as well is there's a, there's a nice little bit of a competition going on between Campbell and Robinson there as well. After the move previous to that, there was a bit of trash sort going on over there in the corner. I think we're in for one heck of a ride in this final quarter, guys. Ab absolutely. So Charnwood took that quarter 25 to 14, feeling like the difference there probably came in the last minute with uh, a couple of back-to-back -back three threes from Hadley as well who's hit two or four from the field for six points in the game. Victor and Duke is still leading all scorers with 22. He has eight rebounds. Looks like a double-doubles on the way. And Ben Wu with 15 and seven. Myers go. Brian Akanmu, 13 points, seven rebounds and a couple of assists. He's followed by Ziki Kavli, who has a 15 and Chan would really dominate in the paint with 38 points to Myers goes 26. And when you've got players like Anduku and Wu, they're going to do that, aren't they? Absolutely. Hold on to your hats, folks. We're about to go into a fourth quarter. And it is getting louder. It's getting louder. So fourth quarter's underway, 10 more minutes of basketball. Charnwood with a 10 point lead as we head into the fourth. Shima over to Robinson. Shima gets it back, swings it round, Cheshire. Shima to Akanmu. Passes out, he's gonna step. That's one Is that to a foul? That's one to watch out for. That foul called on Nduku there. If they can if Masco can create a reason for him to not be out there, that'd really that help their <laughs> offense. Would. And that's, but that's only uh, Nduku's second foul of the game as well. Akanmu going against Nduku. Powers inside. Really tough basket. It's back down to single digits with uh, nine minutes left. Campbell over to Nduku. Inside to Campbell and great D from Shima. I think he might have just got knocked a little bit. Robinson. Cheshire. Ellery to a can move. And it's going to be a foul. Second team foul on the Riders. That is on Hadley, his second. Coach Neil Hopkins there encouraging his guys to push the ball up the floor earlier. I think that's got to be what these Masco guys look to do now to check come back and yeah, bring this lead back. Need to cut into this lead. A can move. Kicks it out. Ellery. Ball's knocked away, but can stay with Masco. One point eight seconds on the shot clock. They're going to need to get a good look here quickly. I think a, a catch and shoot. Robinson. Ellery. I think that was going to be after the buzzer. So still an eight point lead for Charnwood, 8.58 to go. As Cavalier comes back into the game, Robinson's going to head to the bench. Goodser working against Cavalier. Campbell inside to Jordan. Just drops it into Nduku, who tries to get it to the basket, just 
met by Akanmu, who's going all the way and lays it in, puts the lead to six. Brian Akanmu with a big bucket. Well, there's a little individual uh, rivalries coming in here. Akanmu and uh, Duku going hard at one another, which is something that you love to see in a game like this. Guta from the corner. That one's not going to go. Sam Cheshire grabs the rebound. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if Victor and Duku thought maybe he should have been had a look in at league MVP. Yeah. So I like it. I think it's good. I think they're clearly the team's go-to options. They're both playing hard. They're both, you know, performing well. Match up really well together. Exactly. So in line, Sharnwood ball. That was a third foul on Pedro Ellery from Maestro. Guza to Hansen. Into Wu. Jordan's underneath the basket. He can't get it into him. It's going to get knocked away, but they'll have possession again. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Lots of time left in this basketball game. It is absolutely not done at Charmwood with a six point lead. Big three from Charmwood and Guza drops it in. Leads back to nine. Maesco looking to answer. Shima to Ellery. A Kanmu baseline. He hangs and drops that one in. Brian Akanmu really going off here in the fourth quarter. 17 points. Oh, stolen away by Kavli. Up and in. And Kavli now just cuts the lead back to five. And just like that. They're from 10 points to five points. Well, Maynard livid with that one there. Can't believe they gave up that easy bucket. Jordan inside from the shoulder. That one's not going to go. Back into the hands of Charnwood. Hansen. Driving inside. It's stolen away. Kavli to Akanmu. Oh, Can't get it to finish. That would have been, to pick it up and drop that it in. could have been nasty. <laughs> Akanmu tried to absolutely he tried to Louis throw. Jordan there. Yes, sir. We had the perfect view of it from here. He had that gone it. down, that would have been, as Kieran Achara says, disgusting. <laughs> he saw that Zeke Clavy was right there with him. <laughs> he knew it's exactly what his team and those guys behind him could need to get motivate them to get this over. Fair play to him for trying it. Yeah. And Zeke Clavy with the cleanup. Yeah, fair play to Charmel for <laughs> intercepting it. And Cavley did an amazing job there, being up, trailing behind, ready to pick up the board and then drop it in again. Brings it to a three-point game. We've got six minutes. 46 to go, and this crowd is going wild. What an incredible atmosphere here. And it feels like every time I look up during these breaks, Cash, you just see more and more well-known faces from British basketball turn up. I've just seen Drew Lasker yep. walking by. Ben Thomas, head coach of the Cheshire Phoenix, is in the house. Over there. Greg Popovu's in the house. Manchester Swarm. Yeah, Sam Neat is in the house. Hoops Fix. Dee's Reels. And of course, of course, the house. And we're all here. Kazzy B. Kazzy <laughs> Kazzy Hoops Fix. Hey, Kazzy. 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 Hey,
definitely, definitely they're going to need it. Might go down the stretch. I wouldn't be surprised if we see, you know, not a lot more rotations from both teams. It feels like both teams have got their guys that have had a great game out there today. Hansen, he's got Ellery on him. Nine seconds to shoot. And Duco left wide open. Maisko getting a bit lucky on that one with Nduku's miss. Woog inside, and Nduku puts it back in. He's not going to miss twice. I think Nduku is a little surprised himself how much space he had on the play before yes. that. Akanbu. Cheshire driving baseline. Swings it out. Kavli. Shot is up, and that is good. That's three for Kavli. 68, 70 takes Kavli to 22, and Chan would have a two point lead. Feels like Maesco have got an answer for everything. It does. As Chan would manage to keep that one inside, Hansen swings it round to Nduku. He's going to put up the three. That doesn't drop. Akadmu with the rebound. Akadmu, long two, doesn't go. And Guta gets the ball back. And Duku loses control oh. of that one. And it's going to go back with Mayasco. Great defense by Ridley Schema there. Just putting the pressure on. Just, put, just putting himself in the right position, you know, to force the turnover. Didn't reach, didn't risk a foul. And that, that's such a good play as well. It's something that you won't see on the stat sheet, isn't it? Players that can do that. Cavalier into the corner. Cheshire for three. That's too strong. And Duku with the rebound. Good to guarding Cavalier almost full court here. Just not giving him any room to breathe. Making it super uncomfortable for him. Good to Duku. He drives. Floaters good. Charnwood leads back to four. 28 in the game for Duku. Shima. To Ellery, into a Kanmu. He's stopped on the baseline. Cheshire manages to keep it in. Kavli, six, six to shoot. Kavli, driving, pulls up, doesn't get that to fall. Ball is kept in by Nduku. What a move! Chum oh. Oh. Going the other behind way. Behind the back, steps through, passes out. Jordan's three is up, and that oh, is good. Oh yes! Good to knew it. Beautiful pass there. He was already signaling for the three-pointer as he released the ball. The way Guta is finding players on the floor is incredible. It's an incredible thing to see. Kanu Guta, 10 points, seven assists. Wow. It's, I mean, that's why he leads the league in assists and steals, and that's your defensive player of the year as well. So he's doing it on defense. He's also doing it on offense. You know, Maesco make a make a great run, make a couple of plays down the stretch, get good looks. Brian Akamu, you know, he's taken over. Roll at College Riders stay composed, come down the floor, execute two schemes. Victor and Duku makes a tough finish. Then they get Louis Jordan an open three, a 40% three-point shooter. That's exactly what you do in those situations. They got good shots, and now the lead's back up to seven. They're executing perfectly. And Nduku with an incredibly impressive 28 points in the game so far. 28 and 10, double-double. And he's been shooting at 43% from the field. So, team's coming back on court. We've got just under four minutes left in the game. Charnold with a seven-point lead. And it's going to be Myersko ball. Kavli for Myersko. Guta's picking him up. Kavli driving, kicks it out to Akanmu. Can't get that one to fall. And Charnwood going to come back with it. Charnwood now, they can take their time. Inside to Hansen, who lays it in. That, was, that seemed a bit too easy for CJ Hansen on that play. That's the risk of Maesco over committing on these passes and wanting to try and force turnovers. But actually what they did there was they were late to recover and CJ Hansen ended up being the beneficiary of what was quite an open layup. Oh, Sam Cheshire. This is 
fouled on that one. He's going to head to the line. Great steal from Cheshire. Third year guard couldn't quite get that one to go. And that's going to be foul number three on Gunza. Ellery with the step back. Three doesn't go. Shima with the rebound. Cavalier's calling for it. Akanmu. Four to shoot. Cheshire puts up a three. That one just pops in and, in out. and out. Shima just off his fingertips. Really unlucky for Maesko on that one. Just need one to fall. Just need one to fall. Get it. See if we can get it down. To, you know, they've demonstrated they've got the shooting ability. If they can get it to a one or two possession game. You know, Coach Neil Hopkins will know they're still in it, and so will the, you know, so will the Marsco lads. Yeah, you just got to put it back. Ruth just passes to Enduku there, and that gives him a 30-piece for the game. That kind of lapse there by Shima, just allowing Victor Enduku to get the, get the position. And Chama just stretching out this lead as Shima drives to the basket and puts it back down to a single-digit game. Nine points in it, two and a half minutes to go. Oh, what a fade away from Guza. Amazing basket. Takes it to 81 70, 11 point lead for Charnwood, just over two minutes to go. Schumer with 10 on the shot clock. Driving to the basket, can't get that to, to lay in, but he is going to go to the foul line. Sam Cheshire takes to the bench. So that's the third foul on Enduku. As Shima's first free throw is short. is good, brings it back to 10 points. We've got two minutes to go. Charnwood with a 10 point lead. Guza manages to keep control of that one as he almost slips. Goes to lay in, doesn't fall. Back into the hands of CJ Hansen. And Duku. They've got time, six on the shot clock. Hansen, he shoots the three, that one doesn't fall. Ellery grabs the rebound. Riders are in the penalty. Masco, Cat, Pedro, and we'll go to the free throw line for two. And that is on Gudza, his fourth. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, if you look down at the commentary table in front of where I'm sitting, you'll see the remnants of a shredded wooden fork. This is one of those games that's <laughs> so intense, I'm shredding wooden forks to pieces. If you head over to the Bram161 Twitter account, you will see the scenes in front of us at the commentary table here. What an intense it's game of basketball. Itself. I've run out of nails, that's why I'm <laughs> ripping forks apart. 81-72. Just under a minute and a half left, and Zuku. Six on the shot clock for Charnwood. Gutsa for three. That one doesn't go. It's going to go back with Maesko, and Maesko going to need to get some quick points on the board at the moment. So Charnwood picking up full court. Ellery's going to inbound to Robinson. He can move. He's going against Woog. Forces his way to the basket, but can't get that one to drop. And we've got a minute to go. And Duku, he's doubled. Trying to get free, gets it over to Guza. And Cavalier's going to foul to send the riders to the line. I'd say that was about all Maesco could do there. They just need to get the game stopped. Send them to the line as many times as possible, see if they can chip the way at this lead. I mean, 
We've got 52.6 seconds left on the clock. Nine point game. I don't think this is over. Gutzer. No look pass to Hansen for three. That doesn't fall. Robinson gets the rebound and tang tangled up with Woog. Luke being ushered away there. He, referee just saying, come on, calm down, big fella. You know, he's taking Robinson to the floor there you know, after the whistle's been blown. You can understand why the referee wants to have a little chat. Yeah. Then. You know, but that's it. It's a national final on the biggest stage. Yeah. You know, for some of these guys, it'll be their last ever ABL game. Yeah. yeah. If it can, you know, if it can end with them having a gold medal, Look at Jordan there, just telling the crowd to come on, get behind the team for this last 43 seconds. Now Naduku does the same. Robinson makes his first free throw. Second is good and cuts it to six. Set seven. 43 seconds to go. Myers going need a stop here. A quick steal. Kuta. 14 on the shot clock. He's going against Robinson. Charnwood got time on the side here. Gutzer drives to the basket, lays it in. That could do Gutzer it. with a huge basket. Ellery pulls up for three. That one's no good. Shima. Robinson's going to try the three. No, swings it round to Shima for three. That doesn't fall. And Duku with the rebound. And we've got 12.2 to go, and the Charnwood College Riders have an 83-74 lead. This looks like they are going to be the EABL they champions. They can taste it. The players and the fans can taste it, Kaz. 12 seconds left. I mean, what do we say at this point? I mean, this, this game's lived up to expectations. Absolutely, it has. What an incredible game. And like you say, for a lot of these guys, this is going to be their last, their last show, the last dance. They want to go out on a high. And wow, have both teams given us a great game today. And I, I was going to ask you guys, you know, thoughts on your MVP, but I feel like there's maybe one person hey. that's, that's edged in a little bit. Hey, Behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Victor and Zuku with 30 points and 11 rebounds, dropping in an assist as well. The thing that I love the most looking at his stat line is that one turnover. <laughs> he's, been out, he's been out there for 36 minutes. Yeah. He's what? been crucial in hey. almost everything they've done. Yeah. And he's made one mistake, he's made one turnover. Yeah. And in a lot of ways, that's as impressive as the, tw as the third yeah, point. Absolutely. Yeah, And he's been handling the ball as well, so he's not just been in the post, the guy has been for handling sure. the ball over the top. Yeah. So 12.2 to go, Charnwood with the inbound. Nduku. And the game is going to finish with the ball in his hands. And that's going to do it. 83-74, Charnwood Riders are your EABL champions. Behind 30 points from Victor Nduku, 11 rebounds. And that is Charnwood's third title. EABL Championship. Congratulations to the Charnwood College Riders on a fantastic game. 83-74 and an amazing performance from Victor Nduku. All conference first team in the north. And we expect him to be the MVP of today's final game. Ben Woog with 15 and 9 as well. Seven offensive rebounds for Charnwood. Kanu Gudza, 14 points, 8 assists. Some amazing no-look passes. And we've got to see those back on the highlight reel. And a, a really, really solid performance from Charnwood, Danny. Oh, absolutely. Just everybody executing. Kanu Gudza with 8 assists. Again, his teammates involved. You know, for what has been a pretty even spread scoring for those guys that checked in. You know, from guys like Lane Campbell coming off the bench, giving eight points, you know, getting three rebounds, making five assists, making winning plays, you know, to the guys like Victor and Duku that were asked to be the backbone of their offense. You know, they absolutely, they thoroughly deserve this. They've been fantastic all year and they've demonstrated how they are, 
you know, how they are were so great and that they were so great today. And an absolute credit to Maiasco for a really, really exciting game today as well. Brian Akanmu leading, uh, sorry, no, Ziki Kavli led Maiasco with 22 points. And efficient as well, 80% from the field. Well, um, 80% from, from the field. 80% from the field, that's, that's incredible. Absolutely and huge bench spot, bench spot for those guys. Brian Akanmu, 21 and 9 as well. 21 and 9, it seemed to be the guy that they went to when they needed something and often he delivered. Yeah, he's playing just under 30 minutes as well. So congratulations to Charnwood. We'll get the, the presentations underway shortly. We'll get the, the runners-up medals, the winners' medals, and of course the MVP. And then Adam, you'll try and uh, grab a word with the MVP of today's game. Uh, I mentioned it before. I think we may have been off there, but I love to see the, the hats and the T-shirts, you know, to the to the winners. It's great. It's what these guys deserve. They work so hard. A lot of these kids move schools, move to the other side of the country to attend these programs, you know, to play in games like this. You know, I know he didn't come out on top today, but Pedro Ellery this weekend, this is why I came to my school. Yeah. To be able to play on, you know, on stages like this and moments like this. And, um, you know, it's a reward and it's a credit to the, some of that, you know, all their hard work. Absolutely, absolutely. And the players 100% deserve it. The amount of work that they put in as well. The amount of practice time that goes into it that you don't see behind the scenes. So runners up medals just being given out to Maiasco. And as we've said before, through all these games, you know, really, really talented players on but all the teams that we've seen today. A lot of players with really bright futures as well. So, you know, watch out for these players. This is the future of British basketball, Kaz. I mean, as these, these kids come to the end of this journey, it's very much the beginning of another journey. A lot of them are going to go out to the States. There's certainly there's some Division One prospects for the NCAA playing out there today on both sides. And uh, I'm sure that there's coaches over in the States watching this game, seeing the talent that's over here in the UK and going, wow, you know, this has just elevated the profile of the British game once again. So my, th my thanks to both teams of players for an outstanding game, some outstanding performances, the coaching staff as well. What, what an absolute advert for British basketball and the future of this game here. And it's such an exciting time for British basketball, isn't it? When we've yeah. got players like Cam Hildreth representing over in Wake Forest. Yeah. And you've got, you know... And, well, you've got a graduate of, uh, of Myersco, Amari Williams, over there, over exactly. at, at Drexel uh, yeah. University in Division One. Yeah. So, you know, guys like Franklin Agu, um, you know, there's so much talent that comes from Myersco, so much talent from, from Charmwood, you know. And what these coaches do, Neil Hopkins, Mike Bernard, James Jones, Troy, and then congratulations to Will Maynard as the MVP. Who else was it going to be, really? <laughs> it's Victor Nduku, 30 points. Stick with us, we're going to get a word with him. 30 points and 11 rebounds. His place in Charmwood history, well and truly marked. Charnwood College are your EABL champions. Thank you to everyone who has stuck with us today. It's been a fantastic day of basketball. Thank you to Basketball England for putting on such an amazing showcase of talent in this country. And thank you to all the sponsors, Wilson, Shot. And a big thank you to my co-commentators, Adam Masters, Danny Manning. You guys have done a great job. We've been here a long time. I'm going to probably not speak anymore for the rest of the day. So, great job. Great job, Dan. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me tag on with you guys. It's been great fun. All three games have been, uh, been spectacular.
it's been, it's been great. It's been a great day, Adam. Oh, what an amazing day. So proud to be a part of it. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure hosting this with you two. I mean, wow. It's been, it's been a blast. It's been a blast, and I hope we get to do it all again soon. Absolutely. The final fours, hopefully. But yeah, what a day. So get down to your local basketball club. There's so many levels. Get watching some of this fantastic talent that's on display throughout this country. As Charnwood are going to be presented with their winner's trophy. Your EABL champions, Charnwood College Riders. The third time in their history. And they're loving it. <laughs> Might need a new winner's sign after that one. So congratulations to Sean Wood. And a big thank you to Basketball England. It's been a fantastic day. Thank you for joining us. Adam's going to try and grab Victor and Zuku for a quick uh, interview. But until then, thank you very much for joining us. And a big thank you from myself, Caroline Bullock, Adam Masters and Danny Manning for joining us today. Take care and we'll see you next time. Well, I'm not going to keep you guys long because you're going to want to celebrate. I'm just going to start with the MVP, Victor. 30 points, 11 rebounds and assists. But let me tell you, there's this stat line that we noticed on there. He only had one turnover in the game. That's impressive. How was it for you out there, bro? I just trust my teammates. The team, my teammates trusted me. You know, we play as a team. That's not all, that 30 points is all on me. That's everyone on the team. Coach Will trusted me. Coach Lewis, it's just everyone. As a third year, how important was, you, was it for you to come out in this game and not give it everything? Not really, because I trust my teammates. We're all good enough to compete at this level. You know, it's just about teammates and trust. And Coach Will just helped us a lot. Yeah. Coach, unbelievable game, unbelievable performance. Now, I was that nervous. I shredded a, a, a wooden fork apart during that game. Have you got any fingernails left? Just about. <laughs> I'm not worrying about the fingernails. It's all about the hair for me. Oh, I, you, I lost, you lost it? I lost my hair a long time Yeah, you time started ago, with a full head of hair yeah, at the start of the game. Seriously, I seriously did. <laughs> yeah. How proud of these guys are you today? I know it's an easy question to ask, but how proud as a coach are you of these I mean, young men? I mean, you can really put it into words. I think, obviously, throughout what's been happening in the world with COVID and all that kind of stuff, when we first got this group in, that was one of their goals. And not to be able to play their last two years, it's been amazing for... Uh, these guys about to come and get me there. <laughs> me nervous. I think we're going to get rushed any minute. But, um, no, just super proud of them guys, the way they stepped up today. And that's, it's been, been their goal since, since their first year, so it's been great. Yeah, I just want to ask you quickly about that. It's been a very tough couple of years with COVID and everything like that. To have a crowd like this with the noise, 
it must be amazing to just get back out on the floor, have crowds like that watching you guys. And I mean, we saw the numbers of people tuned in watching the stream. A lot of people watched that game, man. Well, it's just I, I just can't thank it. I, like, I thank everyone there. You know, they supported us. Not even just like the my, even the my school fans. They appreciate everything we did. We fought hard and everything. But like, especially with COVID, it's been hard. It's been very hard. You know, I've had it twice. You know, I've been out and stuff like that. I've been working yeah. my way in, but it's very tough. But I'm glad I'm here. You go. You go. Be with your teammates there. Will, we're just going to talk for a minute longer. I'm still trying to come down from that. That was absolutely unbelievable. What's next for these guys? You know, as a coach, what, you know, you come down from this. What, what's next for you and the rest of the guys there? Uh, obviously, we take some time off and rest now. Um, all the hard work leading up to this, I think they fully deserve a good break. Um, and then we'll just get back to working hard. Obviously, some of them guys, Victor, just seeing where it was, what's next for a few, especially mm -hmm. through their third years. But we actually have a good core cool group coming back. So Lane, Dan Hadley, um, Lamarana, Chris Yapo, them guys are coming back. So we'll just get back to work, take a few weeks off, get back to work, um, and focus on next year. Yeah. Possible to make any sweet being against Maersko? I mean, it's always a rivalry between <laughs> us and Maersko. We've, had some, we've yeah. had some crazy games with them um, yeah. over the past, but maybe a little bit sweeter against yeah, them yeah. but no credit to Maestro credit to Neil what he's done with that group has been amazing I, sure. I, I think what you see with Maestro this year they've got so much better towards the end of the year um, yeah. and throughout the end of the season that's signed for a great program and what an amazing advert for British basketball today has been especially with that game there as well so many people watching it it feels like there's a movement happening in British basketball right now and I'd say that this game is going to be a big part of it it, feel, it felt like a real we were there game for us you know, you were part of this game. Do you think that's a pretty accurate description? 100%, 100%. I think, obviously, there's been some uh, cons to COVID, but mm -hmm. obviously some pros as well. So I think all the social media that's come off, off COVID, mm -hmm. um, these reels, underrated, all those guys have done a tremendous job. Uh, hopefully, we just get more and more people watching the game, playing at a grassroots level, and hopefully we continue to build. Coach, thank you so much. Enjoy it. Congratulations. No problem. Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure awesome. commentating this game. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks, Will. Cheers. Well, that's one.